PeteTools.com. G'day guys, how are we all going today? Pete here to annoy you once more. Hey, if you've been watching any of my other videos, you know I bought myself a new toy. The plasma cutter with a built-in air compressor, and I've been playing with it for a couple of videos now. Um, check them out online if you haven't already seen them. But what I want to know now, guys, is this air compressor in this machine here, is it running on any less air than if we plug an air compressor into this machine? What I mean by that is, are they designing these machines with a built-in air compressor to actually run on less air than what this machine does? So that's my experiment for the day, guys. Same as usual, if you like my videos, remember to subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and let's get into it. So guys, this is my new plasma cutter, the old new toy that Pete brought the other day. Uh, built-in air compressor, as you can see. And you can see that this runs on 2.5 bar, which I think is about 36 psi. So what I want to do, guys, is see if we can get this one here. Let me swing around a bit. Oh, see if we can get this one here to run on 36, 37 PSI and see if we can get the same quality cut out of both machines. These machines with the built-in air compressor are running on lower quantities of air. Well, let's find out. So what I want to do, guys, is test how much air we're actually getting into the end of the torch. So I've made up this pretty amateur sort of contraption thing here. It's just got the fitting on it that's the same as here. We'll screw that in there. I've got this off an old compressor, it's an old gauge, and we'll stick it on the end of it once we start up the air and see what it comes to. I'm quite impressed with this machine so far, it's quite good. It's, it's really good for a machine that's got a built-in compressor. So here we've got the same fitting guys, we'll just whack it onto here like so. Now this is not very scientific by any stretch of the imagination. Now, with these machines here, well, especially this one, this doesn't have a holding tank for your ear. So what it does is it pumps out at 2.5 bar all the time. So what's going to happen if I block this off, it's going to stall the compressor. I don't really want to do that. So we'll start the compressor in the machine, and then I'll put my gauge on the end of it, and we'll see what we can actually get it up to without blowing up the machine, of course. So we've got our ear coming out of here now, guys. As you notice on this machine, you can either just pump air or you can use it to cut. Right, now let's have a look at this, guys, and see what it actually gets up to. So they're up to about 40 PSI. Can we see that, guys? About 40 PSI. 36, 40 PSI, maybe. See that? 40 PSI. Yeah! So if we get the other machine that I love, my best art machine here, if we set that up to about 30, between 36 and 40 PSI, it should give us a comparison between the two machines. And then we'll find out whether this machine actually needs more air to run than my other machine over there. So if we set this machine up the same, guys, we should be on an equal playing field. Set it up to 40 amps. If we adjust the air pressure on this one, I see this gauge has got bar on it already, so we'll go two and a half, which looks like about 36 PSI. So we'll turn them up, two and a half bar, 36, 37 PSI, actually I think it's about 38 or something. But anyway, close enough, two and a half bar there. So both machines should be comparable now. So there, let's go and see what happens, eh? Yeah! Right now, guys, we've got both machines on 40 amps. The big one here and the smaller one here. Uh, 2.5 bar, which we've discovered is about 36, 37 PSI. 2.5 bar here. Um, plasma torch on this one is just the P60 torch. Plasma torch on the big one with the compressor is just the same, a P60 torch. And I've taken the standoff guide off both these torches. So, we should get a fair comparison. Now, we'll find out once and for all whether they've designed these machines to run on less air. Right, so let's start with the one with the compressor. Screen wheel plate, guys. Quite heavy steel. So, we'll kick it in the guts and see how it cuts. Hey, I'm a poet and I don't even know it. Kick it in the guts and see how it cuts. Yeah, Grandma. Oh, you better put an earth thing on that before you get too carried away, Pete. Get your gloves, Pete. Now it's cutting pretty fast there, guys. So we'll see what... Well, I was about to snap it off, but that just shows you that was a pretty good cut, I thought. See that, guys? I cut that pretty fast. I wasn't wasting any time cutting it, so it's pretty good cut. All right, now, guys, let's try this baby on the same air settings. Different machine.
Once again, guys, awesome cut, pretty fast. Actually, guys, this is a good machine as well, but you need a compressor to run it. I like it. We'll use the same machine with the external compressor to start off with, if I can find the right earth lead. This one here, Pete. External compressor, cheap machine. See that guys, I don't know if you heard that or not, my compressor just started just as I finished this cut. Once again guys, it's a good cut, no problem whatsoever. But I'm running my big 3 horsepower compressor, so you know, we didn't cut very far and the thing started. So now let's try the same cut with the machine with the built in compressor. It gets very complicated around here guys, when we've got all sorts of earth leads and different machines around the place. One day I'll do a video with all 6 or 7 of the machines at once and then we'll see how we get on, eh? Rightio, built in compressor, 5 mil. Once again guys, really really good cut, I'm quite impressed with that, ow shit that's hot, quite impressed with that, I mean that's cutting 5mm with a built in compressor, compressor didn't, shit that's hot, compressor didn't stop at all, just kept on going, not like when my big compressor starts it blows the fuses in my workshop normally, so I don't think the machine with the built in compressor is going to blow my fuses. But anyway, let's see if we can cut anything any bigger. So guys, I couldn't really find anything thicker in my workshop, so what I've done is I've put two of these together, so that gives us about 10 millimeters, which is about the maximum both of these machines can cut. So we'll see if they can cut it. Oh, I just love playing with plasma cutters. Plasma cutters are cool. <laughs> Once again, guys, we're using the machine with the built-in compressor first. So do we cut through it guys? Yeah, grandma! <laughs> now you can't really complain about that. Ten yo 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 yo. Ten mil thick and it's cut through it like butter with a built-in compressor. Now I would never have thought that. So let's have a go, see if the old best dark one can do it on the same air settings. And we'll see what happens, eh? So guys, you reckon we can do it on those low air settings? Let's have a look. Plug them in there, Pete. I never tried settings this low, this thick before. Let's have a go. See that guys, same thing again, good cut, actually I wouldn't have thought that it would be able to do that, but it just goes to show you, I think we've learned something new here today, ow that's hot for a start. Alright guys I've cooled it off a bit now, now if we have a look at the dross on this, you can actually see it's got less dross or slag or whatever you want to call it, on the bit that we cut with the built in compressor, rather than the external compressor here, so if I had had a choice I would have given the last cut a bit more air, but just because I'm not used to running it on that lower air, but it just goes to show that it does work, and the plasma cutter with an internal compressor really really surprised me, you're cutting 10 mil with an internal compressor, that could save you heaps and heaps of time when you're working outside where you don't have to lug a big compressor around, you just plug the bloody thing into the wall and away you go, so well there you go, surprised me. So guys, my question at the start of the video was, do these machines use less air than these machines? Well, according to my experiment, absolutely not, and I wouldn't have thought this thing could cut 10 mil, but I'm pretty convinced you could cut 10 mil, like, so from my recollection the duty cycle on this thing is about 60%, so I think the way they work it out is you can use it for 6 minutes out of 10 and then you gotta let it cool down, um, I think that's how they, they work these things out, and the duty cycle on this is about the same 60%, so the duty cycles are much of a muchness, this one here you need to plug a big compressor into it, which is ideal if you're working at home in your workshop, this is a really really good cheaper end machine, whereas this one if you're working outside with a built in compressor, something like this anyway, it's got to be really really excellent, so you don't have to cart your big heavy lumping 3 horsepower, 4 horsepower compressor around, anyway guys, 
hope that answers some questions, answered my questions anyway. If you like my videos, remember what to do, subscribe, like, drop me a comment, come say good day to the old git, and we'll see you next time, mate. Happy plasma cutting, guys. Peachtools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.